No public land? No problem, say those behind a clean fuels project at the port of Argentia. Our project uh, at the port of Argentia actually does not require uh, crown lands uh, to proceed. It's still in the best port in the province. It still has the strongest, I believe, community support. Um, it's the right size project and it's garnered the attention um, of decision makers in Ottawa. After months of evaluation, the energy minister delivered the news yesterday. These four companies will move ahead and take the next step to getting their projects off the ground to harness this province's wind resource for the production of hydrogen and ammonia to help satisfy what experts say will be a hungry global market in the coming years. And they're now the first in line to access vast swaths of public land that is being held in reserve for such projects. Here's the list of five companies that will not move forward in the Crown Lands process. One of the most surprising, Pattern Energy. Pattern applied for 38,000 hectares of public land. The government is not saying why, but Pattern and four others did not meet the standard. It's surprising because of all the attention that the Argentia Renewables proposal has been receiving, including a high-profile visit this week from the Deputy Prime Minister. You're actually at the very centre of probably the most important thing happening in the world today. So why was Pattern's bid for Crown Land thrown out? The company hopes to learn more in an upcoming debrief with government officials. But regardless of the answer, it's full steam ahead, say Port and Pattern officials. This site contains all of the lands we need um, to do a first phase project. We're still focused on being the first to export to Germany. Pattern is proposing to use up to 6,000 hectares of port land to build a 300 megawatt wind farm, along with a hydrogen ammonia plant and export facility, a price tag of $1.6 billion. And the company hopes to have all the necessary permits by early next year. The need for crown land would be a factor in phase two, which would be years away, but still in the plans, says Pattern. I want to give the message to, to the province and the region that by no means have we um, abandoned any uh, notion of expanding our project into the future. If there's any disappointment from Pattern, they're certainly not admitting it. In fact, Frank Davis says he believes the Crown Lands evaluation process unfolded in good faith. The question now is whether Argentia Renewables unfolds as promised. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.